In the last part of our discussion, we talked about all the possibilities of Macs that we have to choose from. We've got the MacBook Pro, we've got the Mac Pro, we've got an iMac, and which is going to be applicable to which situation we find ourselves in. And of course, the big question, though, is once we've decided upon whichever Mac is going to be most appropriate to us, how do we configure it? What kind of external display? What kind of internal storage if we have a Mac Pro. Uh, if we don't have a Mac Pro, it's going to be the most appropriate external storage medium, a single drive or a RAID. And in, in terms of RAIDs as well, do we need an external RAID controller going all the way out to a very large, high-powered RAID? Or what about RAM? Do we need two gigs of RAM? Do we need four gigs? Do we need the maximum that we can cram into our, uh, cram into our machine? And more than that, we've got another question. If we're going to be configuring this for pro video, what do we need? Do we need an external display? Well, one thing I'm going to tell you we're going to need for certain is high quality monitors. This is all across the board. We're going to need high quality self-powered audio monitors. Whether you're going directly off your Mac, whether you're going off a mixer board as I do on my main system, we're going to need monitors because we're really going to be able to need to hear that audio absolutely uh, accurately. But what about control surface for color. What about an external display to something like a high quality monitor like the Hewlett Packard Dream Color that I have pictured up here in the upper right hand corner or even a graphics tablet? Well the answer to that is it all depends. And what does it depend upon? It depends upon your budget of course. It depends upon the media that you're editing. But most importantly, it really depends upon the primary nonlinear editor that you have chosen. Because each and every one of these have their own respective demands. They have their own respective requirements. And I'm not going to say one is better than the next. Better is a relative term. It's what works for you in whatever application, what you're most comfortable in using. But in order to ensure that your nonlinear editor is performing to its absolute maximum, we have to be very careful about the Mac that we're going to be configuring to, to use with it. So we're going to deal with, first of all, Avid Media Composer, and then Adobe Creative Suite CS5. And finally, we're going to be dealing with Apple Final Cut Studio. Let's start with Media Composer 5, just released by Avid and a number of wonderful features. But there's one thing that Avid does that perhaps other manufacturers don't necessarily do. Avid really very rigidly qualifies the machines that Avid is going to run on. And Avid will tell you those qualifications. And if you need support and you don't meet those qualifications, Avid's going to say, basically, we told you so. You're not running on a supported system. Now, I know you who are listening out there. I know you. You're going to say, how far can I push the envelope? So Avid, for example, has qualified the Mac Pro for Media Composer 5. Avid has qualified configurations of MacBook Pro, but not necessarily iMac. Now, I have run Media Composer 5 on an iMac, albeit slowly, and I know others who are running Media Composer 5 on an iMac. It is not a supported configuration, and therefore, I'll tell you people have done it, your mileage may vary, and the risk is then up to you. Something else about Avid. Avid specifically requires an NVIDIA graphics card. Pictured in the middle of the screen is the brand new NVIDIA 4000, which is just about to be released the end of December or in early January. And this NVIDIA Quadro Pro 4000 is going to be the newest, latest and greatest mid-range card from NVIDIA. But it will run on any of the NVIDIA cards that run on your Mac Pro or your MacBook Pro if you happen to have a MacBook Pro with built-in NVIDIA graphics. Well, what if you have AMD graphics, formerly called ATI graphics in your Mac Pro or a MacBook Pro that has it? 